Slick Vic from the Harbor area. You already know. Pioneer for the Cholo Gat movement. Trust issues, love is the dead issue. Trust issues, love is the dead issue. You see these skinny jeans? Prayer did that. Bro, before prayers, I had to listen to the Smiths, the Cures, and the Depeche Modes in the closet. This place is fucking scary. So we're here at the Los Feliz Murder Mansion. Yeah, it's a climb. So I met this fine ass chick at a prayers concert, right? Ah, uh, man, she, she was bad. She was gothic. T-H-I-C-C, -C. bomb. I wanted to impress her so much, but I didn't have any money. So you know what, let's go on a picnic. She agrees, I'm like, all right, well, let's do this picnic. You pick the spot. So this goth baby picks this spot right here. You know, I stopped by a Busy Bees, get some sandwiches. We're having our picnic. Dude, this place is terrifying. And I'm from the hood, I grew up in the projects, but this shit scared the fuck out of me. You know, so we did our picnic thing. Now I'm trying to do the player thing, you know. I'm trying to get my Mac on. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do my little moves and everything. I'm looking at her, talking to her eyes, trying to get to her soul. You know, we start macking it. And so she's touching me. She's feeling me all over. I'm doing the same. Next thing you know, this chick got two hands around my throat, trying to choke the fuck out of me. I was almost enjoying it, but then I felt another finger on my butt. Dude, I look back. There's nobody there. I get up. I grab my barbecue chicken sandwich. I'm out. I leave her behind. Dude, the Dark Lord of my nine, they can take care of her ass. I'm out. But every Sunday, I still come and drop off a rolls for my Dark Princess mommy. I remember this other chick I met at a prayer show. Mm. She sees me in my Nine Inch Nail shirt. She wants to fuck me like an animal. We go back to her place. So I wake up the next morning. Her eyebrows are still hers. Her eyelashes didn't fall off. She's still looking thick. I'm like, you know what? I'm taking her on a date. So what better place to take my golf mommy on a date? The cemetery. Let's just stay in the car. This place still gives me the heebie-jeebies. So we're having a great time, man. You know, we had a nice little picnic, you know, all vegan meal because, you know, I'm trying to change. Because we're gothic, not evil. We're running through the fields. We're singing songs. She's over here invoking the dead. I'm over here low-key doing my rosary, sprinkling holy water her because, you know, mama taught me better. So I noticed, you know, she's doing these little seance. She's trying to raise the dead. She's getting all freaky on the tombstone. Like, she's pouring blood all over herself. It's getting all over her body, all over her dead thighs. And Corn syrup. Same thing they use for pig's blood and carry. Then I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Come to find out, that's her ex-boyfriend's tomb. The fog comes in, the ground starts shaking. Next thing you know, her boyfriend resurrects from the grave. You think you can hang out with those decent living folks like you're still alive or something? Hey. They start doing the thriller dance and shuffle their way out of my life forever. I'm done with the goth chola scene. I'm back to regular cholas I went to middle school with. Mackenzie! you